Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blogger. And in this video, I will show you how you can make your text move with VSCC Free Video Editor. So, in short, what we are really trying to do is we are trying to add motion to our text, and we will use the movement object for that purpose. So, without further delay, let's get started. Now, first of all, let me just write some text on top of my screen. So, let me just maybe write the text like, comment, and subscribe. So let me just write the text like, comment, and subscribe. Now let me just center align my text. That's it. Now what I would really like to do is I would like to move this text from the left hand side to the center of the screen and from the center of the screen to the right hand side. And uh, so let me just first of all place my text on the left hand side like this. Perfect. And now let me just double click on the text layer. And let me just go to add object. Let me just go to movement. And let me just select movement right here. Click on OK. Now use the movement cursor to move the text from the left hand side to the center of the screen like this. Perfect. Now if I just quickly play the video for you. As you can see, my text is moving from the left hand side to the center of the screen. But the, but the speed is really slow. So let me just place the end point at somewhere around 500 milliseconds. So currently the end point is at 733 milliseconds. So let me just place it at 500 milliseconds. Perfect. So as you can see, I've successfully placed my end point at 500 milliseconds. And now again, if I just quickly play the video for you. Now, as you can see, my text moved really quick from the left hand side to the center of the screen. Now, what I would really like to do, as I said before, I would like to move my text from the center of the screen to the right hand side now. And for that purpose, I need to create another um, text object because in the free version, you cannot do it without um, creating another text object. So let's get started. Before that, let me just shorten the duration of my text. So currently, the duration of my text object on the timeline is 10 seconds. So let me just shorten the duration to 2 seconds, 500 milliseconds. If I just quickly play the video once again. As you can see, my text successfully moved from the left hand side to the center of the screen. All right. Now, one thing which I would be um, needing to do is record this coordinates, this coordinates. So I have opened my notepad. So just record the coordinate 57.500, which is the left coordinate, 840, which is the top coordinate, 1785, 1785, just a second, 1785, which is the width and 190, 190, which is the height. So now let me just place my cursor at 2 seconds 500 milliseconds and now let me just click on the text object once again and click on OK and let me just write let me just write um, the same thing like comment like comment and uh, subscribe 
like comment and subscribe uh, let me just center align my text like this and what I would really like to do is I would like to change the coordinates all right so the top uh, left coordinate was 57.500 so let me just write 57.500 the top coordinate was 840 so let me just change that to 840 and the width was 1785 so the width was 17 1785 and the height was 190 so as you can see the height is 185 right here so I need to change it to 190 perfect now let me just also shorten the duration of my text object second text object so the duration of my second text object is also 10 seconds so let me just shorten that to again 2 seconds 500 milliseconds perfect now if I just quickly play the video for you this is what is happening this is the first text object text is moving from the left hand side to the center of the screen and uh, now this is the second text object double click on the second text object now again go to add object go to movement select movement and uh, click on ok now let me just move my text like this perfect now I need to place my start point at exactly uh, two seconds at exactly I need to place my uh, start point at exactly two seconds That's it. Let me just quickly play the video and see how my video is looking up. So perfect. So now let's play the video from the start. This is the first text object. Text is moving from left to center. This is the second text object from center to right. Perfect. Now what I would really like to do is I would like to um, add a rectangle so that I would like to add a rectangle um, and we will inverse the colors. So let me just add a rectangle right here. Let me just click on OK. And I would like to add a rectangle at exactly this the place where my text will come and stop like this perfect so it's actually the same coordinates so 190 is there uh, 840 is there 57 I need to change the left coordinate and the width 57.500 right here 57.500 500 and uh, what was that 1785 1785 perfect now I need to inverse the colors so let me just put the rectangle below like this and uh, let me just um, I have selected the rectangle object and inside the rectangle object settings uh, inside the rectangle object settings just a second um, maybe let the rectangle object be uh, like this only let the color of the rectangle object be white only let me just change the color of my text so let me just change the color of my text from white let me just change the color of my text from white to black so currently the text my text color is white so let me just change it to black 
like this and again let me just change the um, color of my text here also so let me just change the color of my text here also from white to black from white to black so text color is right here so let me just change this all right now again if i just quickly play the video from the start so text is coming from the left hand side to the center of the screen now going from the center of the screen to the right hand side one final thing which i need to do is i need to add the fade in and fade out inside the rectangle so i've double clicked on the rectangle object now go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and click on ok similarly again go to video effects go to transparency select fade out and again click on ok now the duration of the fade in is one second so decrease the duration to 500 milliseconds decrease the duration to 500 milliseconds and do the same for fade out as well so the duration of the fade out is one second uh, 33 milliseconds so decrease it to 500 milliseconds perfect now if i just play the video so as you can see my rectangle faded in and it will fade out and uh, my text is moving from the left hand side to the center of the screen and from the center of the screen to the right hand side so that's it guys this is all i wanted to share with you uh, in this video this was kind of a little bit big bigger experiment but um, what i really wanted to share with you is that you can use the movement object to move your text and uh, that's how you can actually move your text um, in the pro version you can do a lot of other things but in the free version that's all you can do um, there's a reason why i need i needed to duplicate my create a duplicate text object and then kind of move it from uh, you know center of the screen to the right hand side because in the free version you cannot do all these things with a single text object but anyway uh, that's it guys uh, do share with me your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.